Okay, uh, first question for you. This is a momentous day for you. You're getting, you know, you've had lots of big space flights, but now you're getting inducted with a lot of uh, other astronauts who have been in the Astronaut Hall of Fame. What is that like at, at this point? Well, it is, it is a very big day for me uh, personally. Uh, it's quite overwhelming. Um, I never imagined as a, a small kid growing up wanting to fly to ever be in this position to be. Uh, first of all, I was very lucky to have the shuttle missions that I had, and uh, today to uh, be inducted into the Hall of Fame is just beyond belief. And you just toured Atlantis and looked around. What, what was it like seeing all of the other astronauts in there with you? You know, twenty some other astronauts, uh, Buzz Aldrin, all uh, you know. Well, I be honest with you, I've seen enough astronauts, but to see Atlantis is unbelievable. You guys, I don't know if you've been in there and seen the complex so far, but Atlantis is that's going to be the most unbelievable um, exhibit of the shuttle in the world. Uh, it, it's going to it's going to be in flight basically in orbit, and then the payload bay doors will be open. You'll be able to see into the payload bay. Uh, it's, it's, it's tremendous, and I'm, uh, I volunteer to be the back to do a, a walkthrough and make sure to check it out, make sure it's working okay before we let the public see it, but it's going to be beautiful. Are you going to come here as a tourist to see it? Well, I'm going to come back for sure. Whether I'm a tourist or not, I hope I get a little bit more yeah. access. No, no, but I meant with uh, family and bringing oh, people. Oh, yes, I am very much so. It's, 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 it's going to be the best exhibit to see a vehicle uh, in its real environment, so to speak, anywhere in the world. We'll take care of you, sir. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Uh, looking forward to human space flight again. Are you excited about the, the horizon for NASA and uh, commercial space? Well, I, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'm not real excited where NASA is right now. Um, we don't have a vehicle that can take us to orbit. We had a vehicle that was going to be able to take us to orbit, but we don't have it now because the administration decides that, I guess, space is not that important to them. Uh, I think that's the wrong answer. So uh, I, I'm looking forward to the next time we have a vehicle that American can get in, an American vehicle, and go to orbit and uh, visit our International Space Station that we built and go further, so uh, I, I hope we get back on track. As you may have seen last night when you were going through the Astronaut Hall of Fame, part of it is uh, displaying artifacts from each astronaut's career. Have you given any thought to what you might be loaning for, to represent yourself in the hall? Well, I'm trying to get over the initial shock of being in the hall, but, <laughs> but uh, I don't know, I'll have to go back and take a look at that. That's, uh, that'll be an interesting uh, uh, problem to have, so uh, I'll go back and take a look and see what I have. Over your missions, uh, what, what, what do you remember the most? What, what stands out? Well, I was so happy to have my first mission back in uh, 1992, and um, you never know if you're going to have a second one. And then I got my second one, and then I got my third one, and my fourth one. And then, as you all know, I have my infamous mission, STS-95, uh, with John Glenn on board. And um, the joke is, um, is John on your mission, or are you on his mission? So uh, I think I was the commander of that flight, but uh, that'll, that'll be... Uh, definitely in my memory for a long time a really great flight but I tell you what uh, my last flight was a Hubble servicing mission and to be a part of the Hubble Space Telescope team uh, is truly uh, I, I really really uh, value that uh, that thing is such a, a magnificent machine uh, it's a time machine it's, we're just able to look back in time so far that it's unbelievable and, uh, and it rewrites the uh, uh, physics books all the time when it as it learns more and more but uh, that's I'm very very proud of all my missions but uh, uh, the Hubble and the Center of Glenn mission was very very good. Yeah. Any more questions? Thank you so much. More, then? You got it. Um, working off uh, what you just mentioned about John Glenn you're entering the hall where he was well he was already a Hall of Fame member when he flew with you um, what does it mean to you to be in the same hall with the likes of John Glenn, Neil Armstrong, Sally Ride, and others, and people that you've worked with in the past? Well, as I mentioned, uh, I'm very, very honored, and it's a dream that I never imagined would ever come true. Uh, as you know, we have a number of the original seven astronauts uh, here today, and, um, you know, it takes a whole team to make this program work, to make the space program work, and I'm just, I'm glad to be part of that team. I'm, I'm a small cog, and... Um, those guys were all my heroes, and John Glenn, I remember as a little kid when they landed on the moon, my dad and I took photographs with a Polaroid camera of the television screen. I still have those photos at home, and I remember uh, those early flights, and, and those guys are, are here today, and uh, 
and to be a part or be in a group associated with them is I'm very, very proud.